Hey, what's up DIYers, Mike Boris with the Mike Boris channel. Thank you for watching. We're talking sump pumps today. And in today's video, we are going to show you a freeze prevention adapter that you can install on the plumbing that's outside. Now, unfortunately, it will not work on our setup, but it might work for yours. And again, this can prevent freezing on the exterior portion of your plumbing discharge and prevent flooding. And this is the box that the adapter came in. And some measurements there. All right, DORs, here we are on the computer now, and the next part of this video, I want to cover this animated photo of the sump pump system that actually has that freeze prevention adapter installed on the exterior portion of the plumbing, as shown right there. And let's go all the way down to the sump pump chamber, as you see right here, or basin, and there is the sump pump. There's the pipe that feeds out of the sump pump, and the blue, obviously, is the water, and there's the float right there. And as the water enters the chamber and fills up, raising that float, it's going to activate the sump pump. And the sump pump is, again, going to pump the water upstream per the arrow. And there's your check valve. And continuing all the way up to the top portion of the ceiling and making a 90 degree angle turn and exiting the home. And in our case, ours does not angle directly down. Ours actually comes out and turns left. And you will see that here shortly. And ours angles down and ties into the plumbing that all the water is fed to from the eave troughs or gutters. However, in this picture's case, coming out of the house and making a 90 degree angle down, and there is the adapter. And as you can see, it is animating water coming out from the louvers or vent portion of that adapter. And that is because the bottom portion enters into the ground, makes a turn, and feeds all the way out to a portion of the yard where you have the discharge opening where all the water initially exits. However, in the event that it gets clogged or iced over, as shown here, ice blockage in discharge line, well, that is where this adapter comes into play, serves an extremely important role, and saves the day. Again, no water can be pumped all the way from the chamber or bison all the way up and out of the house and fed into this plumbing into the ground and fed all the way out to the yard. This portion is completely blocked. And at that point, all the water will exit right through the louvers or vent portion of the adapter, again, saving the day and alleviating a pressure buildup in all the remaining plumbing inside and out. However, since this is already blocked, there's no pressure on this side or past this point leading out to the yard. All the pressure and blockage will be upstream above your actual adapter, not down in here because pressure is not making it to this point and that is because you have this opening right here. However, if this is completely blocked and this is not installed, well, guess what? That is constant pressure building as the sump pump is trying to push that water out of the chamber of bison and upstream and out of the house, and you are going to burst a pipe or burst a check valve and have a bad day on your hands. DIYers, that's not what you want. So I did want to show you this picture before moving on. And we've got two plumbing pipes that come out of the sump pump chamber and feed up and one small one's large and the small one actually goes into the sealed chamber and connects to the sump pump and the sump pump activates and pushes all the water up that small pipe and out of the house however the larger pipe is our radon system and that goes into again our required by code sealed chamber for the radon system to work as designed and be to code and DIYers, if you want to become more familiar with radon systems, definitely check out the link scrolling above. We will also post that link to our playlist down below in the comments and description. However, back to the sump pump and the small plumbing. I'm going to come inside here. Again, that connects to the sump pump down below inside the chamber. And once that fills up and raises the sump pump float, it activates and turns on and pushes all that water up that entire plumbing pipe and out of the house. Well, DIYers, if you have a frozen over, blocked, or clogged discharge line or pipe or exit point, well, guess what? That's a lot of pressure being generated by that pump, and that water's got to go somewhere. And your weak links or weak points of the system, that's a check valve, which doesn't allow any water once it passes to come back here, which is good, safety, and to code. However, you've got several joints and connection points, and at any point, the discharge line is blocked and that sump pump is pushing water up and out of the plumbing. And again, it's clogged. Well, guess what? You're going to blow a pipe or blow a fitting or a hose. And guess where all that water's going? Not outside 
it's going all over your floor. Definitely not what you want, especially if you have drywall within close proximity, as well as wood that could warp, rot, or even worse, have to be completely taken out and replaced. And come inside here. And I'll pick the camera up. And again, in the event that that plumbing becomes clogged, or what we're mainly talking about, the discharge exit point outside is frozen, you have to unthaw it. All right, DIYers, we are outside and it's snowing. It is snowing, no denying that. However, coming down here and here is the exact point where the sump pump pushes that water up and out of the house and it makes a downward angle. And then it joins all the water coming out of our gutter system or eave trough system. Again, feeding off the roof. Where it then goes underground all the way out to our yard. And the discharge point is right in this area. I'm going to grab a shovel because you do not want, again, that to be covered or blocked. And there it is. There is the discharge part. And this centerpiece right here lifts up and water flows out of this pipe. However, ours is loose and I can pull it up. And you can see some rocks inside there. And again, in the event that this is frozen over or you pull the cap off and you see a solid block of ice right here, you need to thaw that out. And if you run into that DIYers, I recommend grabbing a bowl of hot water. Don't boil it, just hot water from your tap. Come out here and slowly pour it on the top portion of the ice and allow it to melt. Coming back to this portion, again, immediate exit from the home and that is a perfect fit right there. So what I could do is actually have a 90 degree elbow like that, but pointing down. Have that installed basically right under here. And then have a three quarters adapter that feeds back into this small pipe size. And then I could have that set up right there. And again, any frozen water from basically the bottom portion of this feeding through here, underground and out there. And blocking the system, well, it won't be an issue because water will flow out of these vents. 